All troop is ready for the start. A new day, a new shit Adventure. day. <laughs> shit day. <laughs> well, <clears throat> rain, wind, Hail. not good weather. <laughs> John. Oh yeah. Good. This is. Ross. Yeah. Good. I good. Like, I Peter. Like good. Sorry, Pity. Repeat, please. He's good. Okay, John's good. Good for soul. Okay. Yep, very Tibetan <laughs> today. <laughs> Looking for a mountain <laughs> to climb. find just a shitty Western District day. <laughs> Lots of wind. <laughs> yeah. John is yeah, well, sta preparando well, il suo mezzo di locomozione. So oh, all right. So I had to take the thing off, put it in a vice. Un po' di benzina per oggi perché la giornata è brutta, c'è vento. E per darvi un'idea di come tira il vento, John ha perso una lente degli occhiali. Fortunatamente la pioggia è andata via, sta arrivando il sole, ma il vento è fortissimo come potete sentire. Saremo sui oh, 20 km per ora. Tutta la tappa di oggi eh, presenta un paesaggio tutto piatto eh, dove ci sono le montagnette là in fondo, dietro di là c'è l'oceano e niente, qui è la parte più con meno case, non, non c'è nulla, solo grandi farm per eh, animali, eh, pecore, mucche, tori, lama e quant'altro è tutto piatto, è tutto verde. Ok, so here we are and we're on our way to Portland. We're about 35 kilometers short of Portland. Portland was the first, um, I suppose, place in what was known then as the Port Phillip region, not the colony of Victoria, but the Port Phillip region, to have been settled by Europeans. That would have been the Henty, Henty brothers. And uh, sometime after that, then we had an influx of migration coming in and quite often what would happen would be that uh, these new pastoralists who would settle on these beautiful fertile flat plains and install their sheep herds would uh, use indentured convict labor or ex-convict labor and as a consequence lots and lots of the western district is filled with um, beautiful dry stone walling so it, it looks not unlike uh, parts of the British Isles in, in different spots. Qui ci sono le barche da pescatori che eh, vengono noleggiate per andare a pescare i pesci quelli grossini. Le barche da pesca. Terza tappa del nostro giro, Melbourne to Adelaide, per un totale di 800 km in 10 giorni circa. Adesso siamo a Port Ferry, È bellissima serata. In questa area ci sono parecchie electric farm, cioè eh, le aziende che producono elettricità con eh, le pale eoliche, perché chiaramente questa è un'area dove c'è praticamente sempre vento e anche molto forte. La giornata se 
messa a posto, è uscito il sole e andiamo avanti. Very nice. This is a tribute to Major Mitchell who was a surveyor back in 1827 and he discovered this area and was very impressed with the well-watered lands of the southwest. From there we then had the Henties who came and established a whaling station and of course the agriculture continued and the excellent fertility of the land yeah, enabled the uh, wealth that uh, we see before us. Standing on Cape Nelson, overlooking the port of Portland, established in the mid 19th century. It's fantastic to see how this part of Australia has picked up the fight against global warming and is collecting the wind that blows most of the year round from the roaring 40s. Later we'll see a video of the ocean crashing on the rocks. And in the distance you can see the port of Portland, a very large economic factor around here taking logging sheep and beef to the rest of the world at the moment the logs are piling up huge stocks because china isn't taking them in the boycotts but one day soon it will be fighting fit economically and surviving another hundred years the great city of portland you want to get your head in hello hello You started? Yeah, yeah, I started. Me, 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 me. The Daily Cases Reporters. Ok, sono arrivato adesso in camera, in questo momento, nella location dove dobbiamo stasera l'accommodation dove dobbiamo stasera oggi è stata una giornata durissima vento sempre nel fianco in fronte e pioggia tanta pioggia e sole pioggia e sole molto freddo perché l'aria che arriva dall'antartico è molto fredda e speriamo che domani cambi perché oggi è stata veramente dura ciao daily cases heroes hero les hero oh, oh, oh. Tout le monde! Bonjour! Carnaval! Spaghetti, <laughs> reggaeton, pizza! <laughs>